All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out here. It's uh, 7.15 in the evening. It gets dark in exactly an hour about, give or take. The sun's already setting behind the mountain over there. Uh, so we don't have long. We're gonna see if we can catch any fish before it's time to get back to camp. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see if we can catch some fish tonight. And then uh, we'll be back out in the morning. Oh yeah, we got one. Just dead floating it. Nice little six or seven inch rainbow. Popped off and we're back fishing. Water. Oh, we got one right there. Is he still on? Or did we lose our flight? No, we lost him. It's not as cold as I thought it would be, but I'm sure that the longer I stay in the water, the worse it's going to feel. So. All right, we're going to start making a move upstream. And again, I like to keep my fly in the water because sometimes it's almost kind of like trolling. The fly is in the water column and it's high in the water column, if not floating. And uh, it's moving slow, just as slow as me. Sometimes fish will be opportunistic and take it as you're walking. We're getting there. Definitely getting there. All right, we made it up to the hole. Little guy. Is he like five inches or so? Oh, he's gone. Oh, that was nice. another bite. Doing some really wild casts in here. And I know there's gonna be some distortion from the wind, but. Ooh, this is a decent fish.
This is the biggest one I've caught out of here. It's a 10 inch rainbow. Good play, buddy. He's gone. You always gotta check if you're recording after you catch a bigger one. That might possibly be the biggest fish I've caught on this rod. Breezy. A little more breezy, I guess. Alright, we're gonna start moving back down towards where we started. We got one. Five incher, and he's gone. Got one. Another five inch trout. And he's gone. Fly's still good. Could probably use some dry powder, but. the least amount of bugs I've seen out here before, so that's kind of nice. That was a bad cast, but the fly is out there, so we'll see. Could play, could not play. Probably won't. Doesn't look like it's going to. Alright, one more, one more. Alright, well, that's it for us today, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back hopefully tomorrow morning with some more action out here.
Salutations and good morning. We're out here today. Uh, it's a balmy 50 degrees, uh, but we have lots of time and the sun's about to just start poking up. So fishing should be pretty dang solid. Uh, no wind. It's just a beautiful morning. Got some good sleep last night in the tent. Slept without the rain fly, saw the moon and the stars, felt the wind. It was pretty sick. Anywho, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna tie on a, I don't know, an Adams, parachute Adams probably. And we're gonna see what we can see. So stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna tie on this high visibility parachute Adams, I think it is. The hook is nice and sharp, I can guarantee you all that much. Pretty much just go from there. One last car lock and we're good to go. See you out there. All right guys, we're down here. Got our waders on, got all our gear. We're just ready to go. Bear with me, I'm still trying to wake up a little bit. It was a late night and an early morning, so. to play a game of are my waiters leaking or is that just cold later we'll play are my late waiters leaking or am I sweating yeah this is not typical of this location usually I can get a, a bite within the first five minutes. So I think it's just got to wait for that sun to come up and then we'll be rocking and rolling. I think I need to tie on some extra tippet here too. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages from our non-existent sponsors. Folks, as you can see from that glorious halo behind me, yeah, there we go. Sun's up, so hopefully fishing uh, starts picking up, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
think I've only seen one surface, one fish surface so far today. So. All right, I'll tell you guys what. We're gonna turn off the GoPro until the action picks up and yeah, I'll see you guys then. That one. Ah, oh, he came off. Still doing pretty good on battery. So I think the new plan to drive down the campground a little bit. There's another spot I can park, hop out, and tromp down to the uh, river. So we're probably gonna try that. So stay tuned. All right, we're at the next spot. This is the spot that I actually lost my net a few uh, trips ago. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen again, but if it does, we're prepared. We have a spare net. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can improve our luck a little bit. If I don't catch a fish in the first five minutes, I'm going to have a beer and then maybe that'll bring me some good luck, but stay tuned and let's catch some fish. There we go, guys. There we go. Don't go on the rock. Don't go on the rock, buddy. It's well for him, I saw him wet my hand. Nice seven or eight inch rainbow. He's right back in the water. That one. Again, we're gonna put him in our little live well. Get our hand nice and wet. I wanted to show you that one. He had some nice colors, but that's okay. I said this in the last video, but this is not how you fly fish with dry flies. Although it does does work. Okay, so we're gonna move upstream, find somewhere to set my bag, and uh, drink my beer, and then get back to fishing. All right, we're gonna give it a try here. I'm trying to remember where I was the last time I fished here. Probably wasn't there. That's way more than knee deep in the water. Is he on there? He spit it. I saw him take that one underwater. Got it. Looks like a six incher. Pretty little guy. Wow, that was right in front of me. I wonder if the GoPro got that.
Oh yeah. What is this? This is our very first brook trout, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a drink real quick. It's a brook trout. Look how pretty this fish is. Wow. Wow. It's actually an invasive species here. But I don't want to eat him. So back into the water he goes. I cannot believe that we caught a brook trout, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite insane. Did we just lose our fly? Yep. Wow. I like that fly too. I couldn't tell if that was a fish or if it was a, uh, a rock. But we're gonna finish our beer, tie on another fly real quick, and then wrap this sucker up. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. If there's something you wanna see in a future episode, be sure to drop a comment and let me know what that is. And as always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, if you actually liked it, like it. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, please remember to subscribe.